name's Callum from a band from South London called Bears and Trees. We're currently on tour in the US with No Offense, and this is my setup. Let's start with the keyboard. This is a Nord Electro 61D, I think. 6D, 61, it's got 61 keys. It's the smallest keyboard they make, and that's important because that's basically the reason I bought it. I stand in the middle of the stage, and we used to have this massive, chunky, big boy keyboard, and it just got in the way. People who stood at the front couldn't really see, it was really heavy, so we got this nice guy. Really small, really nice, really nice to play. Has all of these audio engine thingies. It has an organ, it has a piano, it has a synth, and then there's all the effects here. You can have up to, you can have all three at the same time, I think. To be honest, I mainly just use the piano setting. There's a few different ones in here, so you can set up your set lists. Um, so this one has the Royal Grand 3D, this one's got the Studio Grand, this is layered with a synth, um, this one's layered with an organ flute. Um, I'm just gonna have a piano there. And essentially, I can program in my set list. So all I need to do is flick through each of the numbers to get to each song. Um, in general, I think there's not a massive variance. Most of our songs just have kind of general grand piano on them. Um, but I try and match to what the, we did on the record. So I think, for example, for like Ibr ibuprofen, it's a more like, uh, I guess like a deeper, more full piano sound than something like Heaven Sent, where it's a lighter piano sound, where it's kind of where we record it later on in in our careers of, of recording piano, I guess. Um, but I think other than that, they tend to be pretty similar. Um, and I tend not to use the effects as much so much. This one has a slight delay on it and some reverb, but that one hasn't got a delay on, neither is that one. Um, I think it just gives more scope for the front of house to do what they need to do rather than having to battle what's already been programmed. Right? There's the sustain pedal. This is a little nectar. Normally you use a bigger one, but because we're touring in the US, I bought the small guy because less weight, smaller, easy to carry. This is a very cheap Fame DI box. Um, these are my cables, red for right, blue for left. Industry, everyone knows, everyone gets it, always works. Oh, and then also, this was good about the keyboard, I can have my set list on here, even though it's wrong and I have to ignore it. <laughs> this is the stand and the cable which we bought in Guitar Center and it's very expensive. The stand is okay, it's a bit wobbly, but it makes do and it works. This is my ukulele. Um, it was given to me by Ohana Ukuleles. They're based in Long Beach. I emailed them and I said, I really like your ukuleles, can I use one on tour? And they said, yes, here you go. So it's exactly the same as the ukulele I use at home, but it's not the one I use at home. Um, it is a TK35CE, so it's a tenor ukulele. Um, it has the cutaway, which I really like. You can get a full body one, but I think this looks cooler. And when you're playing an instrument, it's all about the looks, much more than the sound. Solid mahogany throughout, so the headboard, all of it, all of the random things. Um, there were Aquila Nigut strings, um, standard ukulele tuning, so G, C, E, A. Gotta catch them all, if you're, if you're wondering how to remember. Fun thing about ukulele tuning is the first string is higher than the next two. And then the last one's the highest. That's interesting. Um, has a pickup, it's electroacoustic, that's very important. Um, has an inbuilt tuner, it's very exciting. This is currently on a little bit less bass, some more middle and even more treble. Um, that was just random on this tour. It just happened and that's how it's stuck now. Um, I screwed, one of the lovely people in Baltimore helped me screw this, this, um, this thingy bob, this what do you call it, a strap button into the back. It was very nice. Um, and this is the pickup. This strap, it's got stitch on it. It was given to me as a Christmas present and I've used it ever since. And this is my Ernie Ball cable. I like it because it's got gold on it and it has a right angle jack. If it doesn't have a right angle jack, it doesn't fit on my ukulele stand. So that's very important. Oh, and the pedals. Okay. <laughs> this is, these are so unimportant. Um, this is a tuner, which is a poly tune. So if you use it with a guitar, you can tune all your guitar strings at the same time. But I don't use it with a guitar, and it doesn't have a ukulele setting, so I can't tune all the ukulele strings at the same time. So I just use it as a chromatic tuner. But it does work, and it's good at stopping things. This is a Behringer DI box, because I refuse to pay more than £20 for a DI box, because I think that's stupid. So it's the cheapest DI box I can find, but it's nice because it fits very nicely on the, on the pedal board, and it has a flicky switch. And that just goes straight into the the front of the house because I think having an, an amp of a ukulele is unnecessary. This set I think is fairly evenly distributed between piano and ukulele. Um, it used to be before that I swapped quite a lot between the two but as we kind of as we've played more shows and gone through playing more live set we've swapped it so 
I, I mainly played just one instrument per song because it was getting complicated having to take it off and swap in between all the instruments. Um, what we also do quite a lot now is we'll put, if I'm only playing a little bit on the piano, we'll put that on our backing track so that I can run around and, and go into the crowd and dance with people because I think that adds to the performance so much more than being stuck to an instrument where I can't really move or having to be at a mic stand because I've got to play the ukulele. Um, oh, actually that does lead on to this. This is my mic which I take everywhere. It's a Chonka, it's a big boy. Um, it's made by Sontronics, which is a British um, mic company. I've never used any of the other mics. I've only ever used this one. It's a Sontronics Solo, but I like it. And so we take it everywhere. And this is a very expensive cable we bought from Guitar Center because it's really long and it meant we could run around. And I've been Callum from Bears in Trees, and that was my, all the gear that I use on tour. Um, if you want to keep in touch with Bears in Trees, you can follow us on our socials, you can listen to our music wherever you want to listen to music, and if you want to find out any more information, you can go to www.bearsintrees.com. <laughs>